Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, how you doing? Uh, had the uh, arrow now for a few days, a couple days, and um, I think we need to adjust the neck. I think it's going to make it good. It really, you know, when you have it plugged in, it's not too bad, and it is super, 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 super low right now. And some people might go with it, but I think adding a little rel relief is going to help. Um, when it comes down to it, it's it's twangy and, it, and it, it's changing. It's making the tone different and uh, it's killing the sustain on it a little bit. No um, wrong choices in music and uh, I guess so. I mean, I, I, I... <laughs> You know, like, uh, the tone's not bad for that song, uh, so you could keep it if... Uh, you wanted to sound like a banjo, but I think that's not what we're after. So uh, we're going to get into putting a little bit of neck relief and then we'll check everything out and make sure everything's good. Let's throw a little info around. So uh, we know we're going to adjust the neck relief. We're looking for uh, 0.35 to 0.5 millimeters. Uh, there's the conversion to inches. And then here uh, we're looking for if we have under bow or back bow. And uh, if you have the under bow, you want to tighten on it. And if you have back bow, you want to loosen or go counterclockwise. And a really, 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 really good rule of thumb is to loosen it a quarter turn and stop and retune it and then check where you're at so you don't get carried away. Uh, we'll just tune them from the tuning, tuning keys instead of the Floyd. One thing I want to say about the guitar is there, even in there, not really any buffing dust or anything left on it. I mean, they really handed it over in really nice shape. Um, capo is on, but do we really even need a measurement? I mean, I think we're at zero pretty much. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give this a little turn. When you get this in there, you want nice, positive, solid contact to get in there. Yeah, right there. That's good. And I'm just going to give it a little bit. Let's see if we even made a difference. Not yet. Um, so I tuned it again. Let's check again. Okay. Throw the old capo back on. Good. That felt good. Here we go. And we're getting, we're making headway, but I think it's going to need a little more. All right, let's do a quarter. And we'll retune. Sounds good. It's a good thing. We'll go to 19. Oh, yeah. Things, good things are happening here, people. 0.3 millimeter, 0.305 to be exact. 3579. Oh. We're getting it. We're getting it. Another quarter. Let's do another. Uh, that last quarter turn was different. I was finally starting to put some pressure on it. So it was moving really slowly, but um, that last little bit just started to put pressure on the other side. So I think we're gonna move it a lot now. Yeah, we're moving it a lot now. Let's take a measurement. 
Let's see where we're at. Okay, let's get the age out. <clears throat> 0.3 millimeter again. 3579. Hmm. I'm starting to really like that. Ring. Just a little. That's it. Let's look at that. I'm going to tune that. Back in tune. Capo on. It's starting to. That's really starting to feel good. I'm going to eyeball that. Yeah, something's happening now. I'm going to stop there so it might settle for a bit. But uh, do I like that measurement? I do. I'm going to stop. I talked myself into it. Let's check out some other stuff. I figured before I got yelled at online, we'll check it in the player position as we should. So... Let's check that out too. We're gonna go right there. Three, five, seven, nine. Check out the nine. It is just, just touching it. But I think I might want to let it settle down and see how far it goes right now. Because we it went from nothing to something. I might like to see how uh, it reacts to that. And who knows how green that is. I Looking down, sighting down, I can see a bow now. A little bow. And that's nice. I'm going to stop there. We'll check the other stuff out. Uh, the action was really slammed before. Like stupid low. And now... If you can see that on there, I'm reading like, oops, that's why I'm so corn fused. That's a two. I'm calling that two. And it's a little less in the back. 1.75. So it moved. I'm going to adjust that a little. I'm going to take that down a little bit. Go ahead and just adjust it at the point here. That's a really half a turn. Yes, we moved it a quarter. All right, so we're doing pretty good, right? Uh, we're doing everything in order. Remember, we wanted to use that training system. So we always tune it, and then the relief, and then the action. Then the next thing should be intonation and then noodling on it a little bit. And uh, so I'll check the intonation here real quick and see if it moved or a lot. Because when we first checked it, when we first got it, it seemed like everything may have wanted to get nudged up. But that would have made a lot of sense if it needed some neck relief because that will probably shorten the strings up a bit. So uh, I'm going to dig into that now. Really good idea not to work your tools over the guitar. You want to keep them separate. There's our three. Perfect. I mean, that's perfect. I really like the way this is coming out. Really couldn't hope for much better. So I checked it and it's close. There's two that are a little further out than the others, and that's the low E and the B. And I think I'm going to go ahead and try to dial those in right now, too. Uh, I just ended up going through all the strings and doing it, but. You may come across this where the G string looks like it wants to shorten up, but at first glance it seems like uh, there's nowhere to go, like the screw's bottomed out. But if you look close next to it, there's another spot for it to cleat into. You can take that screw and move it forward and let you make that uh, adjustment forward. You can see that these are in another cleat here, and they move forward so you can get all the adjustment, more room to adjust where you need to. Oh, 
That's how you fix it. Me. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get that one. Uh, I thought this might be a good spot. Um, here's how that Floyd Rose tool is worked. It kind of clips into the back. A part of it just grabs right on, and the other one holds that. Uh, that's the screw that kind of is holding your string against it, and it grabs on that and it holds the tension back while you do your thing and work. And on that A string, I had to move the screw up to that other cleat. And uh, it's very helpful. I like that. I like all of that. Right, we did everything. We went through the whole train once. We stepped back a couple times. But we got to the end finally, right? We did the... We always tuned it, the relief, the action, the intonation now, and then we would doodle on it for a bit, which sounds like fun, so we'll get to that too. Um, but let's go and then go back and check everything again, right? So that's really nice. Check treble side. Yeah, that's the leaves right on right now. I could drop that a little again. It's right at right at two. Well, I think we got this dialed in. I mean, that relief is really nice. The action's really nice. It's playing really nice right now. That's important. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the truss cover back on even. I'm feeling pretty good about it, but I'm gonna let it sit for a day. continues right for the arrow uh, good things though uh, we have uh, neck relief finally back I mean it came it was so dead flat but you can probably you know we got some there's a bow there now so uh, everything's lining up and the action makes sense and it's sounding much better and it feels really good right now uh, but a lot of those adjustments just happened um, about an hour or so ago. So it's gonna take some time for her to settle down and um, I'll play her for like a night or two and then maybe take some measurements again and uh, see where she's at. Uh, um, but she's great, you know, like uh, feels great. I think if this is a guitar that you were looking for uh, and this is how you found this video or anything, uh, man, you are going to love it. Uh, I, I think it's just wonderful. If I, if I had a custom guitar right now and I was starting with this platform, a Sustaniac right there, and I would be in heaven right now. I mean, this guitar is just so much fun. Uh, we get guitars uh, sometimes for inspiration, right? Like we want to be inspired in our playing. And uh, sometimes a new axe helps. It's different from the others. Like all the other guitars that I have are literally like an S style, like a super strap. Like I've always played that and having this, and I've felt like I've wanted one forever. I've been drawn towards it and uh, I'm really happy and I'm still in that newlywed uh, phase. So um, we'll see how it goes, but like everything, it, it's hard to put down and the licks seem to come easy and uh, what more could you ask for? Right? Hey, thanks for hanging out. 
I'll see all of you rock stars next time.